My name is Max Vasilchuk. Uh, I'm a sophomore, I'm a BATS major, and I'm the director of Upper Room. The Upper Room is a 24-hour prayer room on campus where you can worship, pray. We have boards where you can write prayers for uh, the lost, prayers for Minneapolis, prayers for North Central. We have a whiteboard where I usually put up a question like, how can you be bold today? And we have a library full of spiritual development books. We have a little corner for music. We have a guitar and piano. We have an art station where you can paint, do watercolors, and we have a couple praise flags uh, if you choose to worship that way. So the Upper Room is called the Upper Room because we draw it from Acts 2 with the meeting at the Upper Room where the Holy Spirit fell for the first time in the Christian Church. Uh, we just love that idea of the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon them as well as that intimacy with God that they're now empowered to walk in and that just like intertwining together and just like this jumping point for the Church and that we believe is still active today. There's been deliverance ministry in here, people uh, set free from demons, uh, evil spirits. I know that there's been healings happened in here. I've been a part of a few. I know that this is just a special place for so many people on campus where they're able to just, even just do their devotions and uh, really just connect with God in so many different levels. We also have prayer meetings on Monday nights at 7, and that's just to create just a communal prayer space where we can all just come together. For instance, we have a partnership with Antioch Society where we pray over unreached people groups, and uh, we just believe it's so powerful when we all pray together for a specific cause because we believe that something happens when you pray and something doesn't when you don't. We have like a worship time where we all worship together, and then after that we go into a prayer time where we just focus on ministering to each other, just really manifesting manifesting that Acts 2 church where just like the fire is just flowing through us into each other and I think that's so beautiful. So Worship Lab is a series that Upper Room is doing. We're right in the middle of it. We just want to create a space where we're able to learn and act in worship methods that have been on the fringes of Christianity. For instance, last week we had Bridget Boki teach on painting, prophetic painting. This week we had Paris Primo teach on flag waving, and next week we're having Mariana Preble teach on dancing, worship dancing, prophetic dancing. We really expect it to uh, open up people's minds to different ways to worship and show that God is more than just, you know, singing and uh, instruments. And I even expect that we'll even open up our minds to say, you know, beyond worship, just what else can you do, God? How else can you use me? beyond what I'm used to. And I hope that people find that they're good at the things that we introduce to them because they never even thought of it and that they find that, wow, I love doing this. Worship dance is a form of worship that just utilizes the physical body and all of its expressions. It takes dance and just focuses it on the Lord and I consider it an extension of whatever praise or prayer that an individual would be worshiping with, they just use their body to express it. Worship dance is important to me because as I've grown up and every year I've gotten older, I've realized how uh, much more I just tend to want to move in worship and um, not stand still, but um, let my singing or my praying um, flow into movement uh, in the body. Um, the upper room has taught me to be silent before the Lord and really just be patient and waiting for hearing Him when He speaks. Um, just to be in a place where there are people who are, are passionate about it. Just really how in Scripture it talks about iron on iron and building off one another and being stronger. <laughs> My favorite part of the upper room is probably just the people there and just worshiping the Lord together. Not necessarily like through song always, but just praying with one another and talking to God and ask what God is saying about other people and really just chasing after the Father's heart. So, yeah. <laughs>